Thank you. Let me thank uh, Peter um, and our speaker for keeping this infrastructure uh, initiative alive and constantly emphasizing how important it is, uh, which is what we're doing today. And I also want to thank Peter for mentioning New Jersey as the innovation state. <laughs> we, we were very proud of Thomas Edison and all the uh, innovations that we've had over the years. But I just want to stress um, again that this uh, infrastructure initiative is so important in terms of creating jobs and a strong economy and a growing economy and also in addressing uh, climate change. And as far as the energy and commerce's jurisdiction is concerned, both of those are true for the pieces that we're involved with. So I did want to mention first with regard to uh, uh, clean energy, um, this, this bill has major initiatives that uh, will really encourage clean energy and, and address climate change. So we have about $34 billion for clean en energy. A lot of that is for upgrading the electric grid to accommodate renewables and also make it more resilient. We have about a million and a half to replace leaking gas uh, pipelines. We also have major investments in energy efficiency, which is obviously so important. Uh, and also to develop electric vehicles, uh, an electric vehicle charging network, if you will, across the country. Now, the second part uh, within energy and commerce relates to broadband. There's $80 billion over five years, I think everything in the bill is over five years, to fund uh, deployment of high-speed broadband uh, in underserved communities. So that's rural areas, that's urban, what we call urban broadband deserts. Um, and we estimate, FCC actually did a study that said if we do this, then there'll be about 100% coverage uh, for the internet for a broad, broadband network around the country if we do this in underserved uh, areas. Also with regard to 911, uh, the infrastructure for 911 needs to be upgraded. So we have about $12 billion uh, for next generation 911 that allows you to you know, basically use your cell phone, for example, to send text messages or images. That was particularly important uh, in my state in the aftermath of Sandy. Uh, we had a lot of problems in terms of actual emergency communications. And then the last thing within our committee is we have, uh, this is actually between both our, us and transportation, uh, there's a major brownfields in initiative, about $2.7 billion for brownfields, and then for uh, safe drinking water, about $25 billion for safe drinking water, basically to fund uh, the safe drinking water revolving fund and also grants to, um, to uh, municipalities and to state and local governments. So overall, this is a big win, if you will, for climate action uh, and also to create jobs and to grow the economy. And with that, I would like to... Just a moment. First, we'll then go back to... Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah.